In this episode, we're going to spend some time taking a look at uh, pointers and variables and, <clears throat> uh, and especially looking at the difference between the way that references work uh, in um, at references and pointers work in C++ over how they work in Java. So let's, uh, let's start by creating a, a short program that demonstrates some of this. I want to first create a, oops, um, a pointer variable I call pointer. And uh, remember that this, um, this contains an address to the memory location uh, for the uh, place in heap that the, uh, the data is being stored. Um, and so if I want to actually use this, uh, I, have to, uh, I have to instantiate the variable um, using the new operator. And so I'm going to do this, uh, say pointer equals new int. And then I'm going to instantiate, or I'm going to set a value for uh, what that pointer points to. Um, now this uh, uh, this construction, this this um, way that I've done this with the parentheses, that's uh, uh, that's not required. But I think that that is something that uh, will help you understand the difference between you know when you're using a variable. Uh, and when you're using the pointer. And if you use uh, this version here, then you're referring to uh, the, uh, the data. Uh, and then if you use the other thing here, then you're referring to the, uh, to, to the pointer. Now let's go ahead and just print this out and see what this does. So I need to point the, the data. And so I'm going to do this um, and point that and then um, print my end of line. So let's go ahead and run it. Actually, I haven't built it yet. Um, let's build the project. Now let's run it. Oh, it still didn't build it. Okay. So um, there we go. So there's the there's the uh, uh, the data that's been printed out. And actually, to sort of underline. All of this. Let's uh, let's also point out. Let's also print out the the pointer value. So let's do this. Pointer address. And then we'll do value. And then let's print that. Let's compile and print that or execute that. Okay, so here we have the pointer address. This is the location where the data is being stored. And then we have the value uh, being um, stored at the address, and that's uh, that value is 8. Okay, so again, uh, one of the things that uh, it's completely different than what we would have done in Java. Uh, in Java, we wouldn't have had a pointer um, you know, there's this little notation here. And then if I actually wanted to do the assignment, I would just do the assignment. And of course, here we're using uh, a built-in type rather than a, a class type uh, for doing this. And we could obviously define our own class type and do that. And actually, let me do this. Um, class, my class. Oh, and by the way, this is very bad uh, programming practice of me of creating all of this in the same um, file, but I'm going to do it anyway. So int uh, attribute, just call a0, and then public my class, pick some integer, a, and I'm just going to put the code all in here. So a, this a0 equals a. And actually, let me also add a character in here. Character C0. And let's do C0 equals C. And actually, let me put all this stuff in, pri in public so that we can actually get to it without, ever, without having to write. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm lazy. 
let me just use Eclipse to do this. So implement methods. Actually, I wanted it to do getters and setters. Uh, generate getters and setters. So let's do that for, for everything. So generate it. And it's already generated my code for me as well. So anyway, so all of that's here in one file. Again, that's I don't suggest doing it this way, but we're going to do that here. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, um, so I'm going to use that class, and I'm going to instantiate that. So my class ptr zero, and then tr0 equals new my class and then I'm going to give it uh, some values so 1 and C and then now if I want to actually print this I can do the same thing pointer address ptr0 and uh, in order for me to actually get any values off of this, actually, let me do this on a separate line. Instance values. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to print, uh, let's see, get. A zero. Oops. And then I will do the same thing with uh, C zero. So C out. So um, let's run it, see what it does. Taking a little long here to execute. I perhaps have too many jobs running on my, my machine. So there we go. Um, so we have our original one, and then we have this new, uh, uh, the new information for the new class I created. Okay. So uh, one of the things I want to point out here about uh, what's happening with this is that uh, we have to remember to actually do a dereference of the pointer in order to get the the data value. So I used in this instance here, I used this this arrow notation. You can actually do this slightly different. Um, using the previous notation that I was showing you. Uh, so instead of um, using the arrow, oh, I can use the dot notation, but then I have to make sure I dereference the pointer. I can do that. That's perfectly, that's perfectly fine. Okay, and that'll have then the same effect as the, the previous version did. So let me go ahead and execute that. Uh, yes, I want to save that. The 
eventually this will actually execute. Understand why it's running so slow. Machines decided that it runs wants to run slowly today. Eventually, this will execute. Okay, so there we go. So it's again, it's the same. It's the same data. Um, it's the same. Um, uh, it's the same semantics. It's just that the notation and the syntax is slightly different. Okay. Uh, another thing that uh, we need to make sure that we do is whenever we use. A pointer variable, and we and we declare it using this uh, uh, this syntax. We are responsible for actually releasing it. Now, in this particular example, it doesn't really matter uh, because uh, it's uh, it's in the main program, and that and the data will be actually cleaned up um, by the system. But if I were creating a, a function, uh, or I had a method that I was creating, um, I would have to if I were if I wasn't going to be using this data after using it within the function, I would have to actually delete it. Uh, and so the way that we do this is to use the delete keyword and name of the pointer. I'm going to do this actually for both delete um, pointer. So uh, this way the, d the data gets released and, uh, um, and put back into the heap uh, for use by the rest of your program. If you don't clean up your, your data, uh, it's basically uh, called creating garbage, and if you create garbage, that of course is uh, uh, that means as, if you continue to use memory and don't clean it up, you'll eventually run out of memory for your program. Okay, uh, another thing that I wanted to show you is something that's called um, the the size of operator, and I need to add another variable here to our program in order to demonstrate this. So let me create a variable called uh, called i, and uh, there is a when we're doing memory management and we're using um, uh, all these different variables. There, there, it's important I think to to really understand how much memory is actually being used, um, uh, and there is actually a way of actually of uh, displaying how much memory is used by a variable. And I'm going to use this here to show the size of um, do size of i. Let's also do size of int. And let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, so uh, what this is saying here is that the uh, size of the data in these two variables is four, uh, and that is the size of a uh, of a byte of, of the integer within uh, within Java. And we can actually do this with uh, pretty much all the types. Um, I'll try with double. What does that tell me? So a double is uh, is eight bytes. Um, anyway, so uh, there's a uh, whenever you're using C++, um, I mean one of the one of the nice things about the language is that uh, it can often run faster than Java programs because there isn't as much overhead. Uh, and part of that uh, reason is that uh, you need to uh, to use memory in a uh, in a responsible way and so even right down to how we define our classes if I define a class in this fashion here with uh, integer and character uh, there's this idea of doing a, a alignments within uh, within the um, within the uh, within memory when it's being allocated so uh, for instance let me let me demonstrate this uh, let's first do a size of my class And uh, 
one of the things, so with uh, the integer here, this integer should be four bytes. This uh, uh, character should be two bytes. And so we should expect the size of this thing to be six bytes. So let's take a look at what actually happens when we do size of. Did I actually print it? So one, two, three. Yeah, so, uh, and you'll see here that it's actually eight, allocated eight bytes for this, uh, uh, for this class. Well, part of this is that uh, a character is two bytes, but it, it, the, the system won't actually allocate more space. Um, well, we'll actually allocate more space and then have some space as a buffer um, uh, since it can't actually store anything else in that remaining two bytes except for another character. So if I were to do something like character one and put that in there and then run this again. We should get the same value. So eight again for uh, for my class. So uh, so that seems like okay, well th it, this makes it for this makes it so that we have more efficient memory storage within uh, within C. Uh, but here's a here's a real strange thing that I wanted to show. Like what happens if I put an integer in here and make note of the order? So uh, if this is like everything else we were doing, we would say, okay, integer that's four. Um, the other integer is four, and then these two characters, those are two apiece, and so maybe this should be twelve, uh, twelve bytes. And let's see what actually happens here. So it's actually allocating 16. It's like, wait a second, why is it doing that? Well, uh, this is all because of the way that alignments work. So let me do this in a comment. So uh, A0, I put uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, where space is allocated to it. Um, C0 takes two bytes. So that's this uh, two bytes of the, the memory size. Uh, but then two bytes uh, are going to be unused. So we'll just do this. Uh, let's just say X. So those two bytes are unused. Uh, and the reason for this is that uh, the compiler will not align the, uh, the and store the variables uh, in anything but four byte um, anything but four byte uh, boundaries, um, and so uh, there's two bytes that are actually wasted here, uh, and so we end up having say four bytes for a zero, two bytes for c zero, two unused bytes, and then we'll get two bytes for a one. And then two bytes, uh, sorry, four bytes for A1, two bytes for C1, and then two more unused bytes here. Okay, so this equals 16. Now let's do a little bit of rearrangement of this. And instead, let me um, put the two integers together and then put the two characters together. And then let's see what the system reports to us. So now it's saying 12 bytes. Well, hold on a second. I've got, uh, I've got. It's dip. That's different than what I was just, uh, I was just showing. Uh, before it was 16. Well, the reason is this. In this configuration, we get two bytes for a zero. Get and then the next boundary starts where we can store a one, and then we can store c zero and see one next to each other. Those both fit well within the four byte boundary. And so I'm, I'm, uh, I have 12 bytes for the data storage. So anyway, uh, it's just a, just a sort of uh, a quirk, I guess, of C++ of how memory is stored and how, how all of that works. Um, so anyway, that's the, um, um, that's that. So uh, just to kind of wrap up this, uh, this particular podcast. Remember that uh, uh, we do have to 
um, uh, we have to uh, delete memory. Uh, we also have a different way of being able to uh, to access the pointers. We can use the arrow notation or the dot notation. One of them you have to dereference. The other one you can use directly. Uh, if you use the pointer uh, without dereferencing it, you're going to get the address. Uh, and then finally, uh, you know, make sure that you delete your memory when you're done. So anyway, so that's uh, that's the end of this short podcast. Um, we will have others that uh, that discuss uh, this same uh, the same topic. Um, I'll probably have one more podcast on on the use of pointers.